I want to extend my appreciation to the organizers today of this important event, and my thanks to all of you for taking time out of your day to be here. From Cardston to High Level, and Jasper to Lloydminster, and in every city, town, and hamlet between, opponents of pieces of legislation commonly known as Bill 10 and Bill 7, and documents like school policy guidelines, have scared and intentionally misled lawmakers, friends, neighbors, teachers, and our fellow, fellow citizens by thinly veiling their concerns as issues of privacy and safety. They reframe important legislation and supports into memes and simplistic phrases, all suggesting that affording equal access and accommodation to trans and non-binary folk endangers women and girls and will lead to increased sexual assault and even rape. The reality is that non-discrimination laws don't change the fact that it's already illegal to assault someone in a washroom or anywhere else. In fact, transgender inclusive non-discrimination laws and policies that protect citizens from discrimination in public accommodations already exist in our city, in our province, and in our country, and in many places across the US and around the world. And there has been no uptick in safe, public safety incidents in any of these jurisdictions. And there has not been a single documented instance in which a person committing sexual assault or harassment in a restroom was a trans or non-binary person, not one. In, in fact, gender diverse people are more likely to be the targets of violence and assault in washrooms and other public spaces. Research, research in the US and Canada has shown that over 50% of respondents of every study reported being verbally harassed in a place of public accommodation. Trans and gender diverse Albertans value privacy and security too. Non-discrimination legislation is about more than just washrooms. Reducing the issue to where people go to the bathroom is misleading, and it ignores the important protections they provide in a lot of other areas of life. Legislation like Bill 7 that includes public accommodations make communities, schools, and businesses safer and more welcoming for all people. Finally, fully including trans and gender diverse people in all spaces, including washrooms and gendered facilities, is at the heart of protecting all people from discrimination on the basis of gender, gender identity, and gender expression. To say otherwise is to imagine us as less than full citizens, less than fully human. It is a rejection of our dignity and our identity, and that is simply unacceptable. Thank you for all of your hard work and courage in the face of violence and anger and hate and your continued struggle. Today we are here together to say that discrimination has no place in our society, no matter how people frame it. It doesn't make women and girls safe. It doesn't make us safe. It doesn't make anyone safe. And it doesn't create the kind of inclusive and welcoming communities that we want and expect for our province and our country. Thank you.